Hello everybody, this is Global Warming Skeptic, and this is Exposing the Young Turks, episode number 10. Today's topic, we're going to be taking a look at a rant by, you guessed it, Anna Kasparian, talking about Obama, Israel, and Muslims. Let's hear her out, and then we'll give the appropriate response. It's put, being put out there about the Obama administration. They make it seem as though he's somehow against Israel, even though he's done everything that he, has, he could possibly do to help Israel, right? And for me, the worst part about it is painting Obama as this weak, Islamic, like, Muslim terrorist, right? Mm -hmm. When in reality, that's like the furthest thing that he could possibly be. Okay, you is Islamic son of a bitch. How okay, now, first of all, let's cut it off here. Respond to this a little bit. Um, as far as Obama being an Islamic terrorist, I won't go quite that far. But she's vehemently defending a man who cares more about the affairs of what happens in Yemen and Pakistan than what happens in the United States. A man that bows before Saudi kings and who shows an unusual favoritism toward the uh, Muslim Brotherhood. He overthrew Gaddafi, put the Muslim Brotherhood in power, and when the Muslim Brotherhood overthrew the government of Egypt and installed Shia law for those couple years, Obama gave funding to the Muslim Brotherhood to protect against a counter-rebellion to put the old government back in, which ended up happening anyhow, despite the money given to the Muslim Brotherhood to prevent it. And let's not even forget what he's done in Syria, giving rebels weapons in order to overthrow Assad, who is pretty secular by Muslim standards, particularly in that region. But, let's go on. Why is Obama Islamic? You know that one-third of Americans think that Obama is a Muslim. And over it's because half of Republicans believe that. Over half of Republicans. And, and just to this point, too, the same could be said for all of this. The reason why, also... People believe Obama is a Muslim, and to the question, I'll admit it, I'm uncertain. I don't believe he is a true Christian at heart. I can't judge him because I don't know for certain. But his Christianity seems to be politically motivated because when visiting Muslim sites, he goes in traditional Muslim dress. He wears the the hat thing, I don't know the name of it, excuse me, and he'll, he'll wear generally their clothing. And he said he heard the Hazan at the break of dawn. As a child, he was listed as with Islam as his religion in Indonesia, and in general, when talking about Islam, he speaks extremely highly. And it's just, he does some strange stuff. Plus, he has slipped up and potentially admitted that he is a Muslim because he talked about, quote, my Muslim faith during his 2008 campaign. It's a possibility he was misspeaking, but there are, basically what I am saying is, there are many reasons that people believe Obama is a Muslim, other than some North Carolina senator, or any other individual person stating it. There are many people who believe it, because he acts like a Muslim. His heritage is Islam. His father was a Muslim. 
his middle name is Islamic. So, there's that. I believe he's a Muslim. One third of Americans in general believe Obama is a Muslim. Obama's not a Muslim, but the reason why these people are misinformed is because you have these clowns like this North Carolina lawmaker spreading this misinformation about him. And it's, it pisses me off to no end, especially when you consider the fact that American tax money goes toward Israel in order to support them in ways like Iron Dome, right? And it should, right? Because you want to protect people. They're yeah, it goes in supporting the Iron Dome, but to say that, for example, that we do everything we can for Israel is incorrect because the one thing we didn't do was support Israel against Hamas. Obama was almost entirely silent on the Israel versus Palestine, the recent conflict. So, basically, the take-home message is this. The Young Turks is once again trying to sway the public into thinking that Republicans are brainwashing people somehow into believing that Obama is a Muslim and that Obama does everything he can, end quote, for Israel, when, no, he doesn't, and is he a Muslim? People have very rational reasons for believing that he is, and to state that we just get our information from politicians is quite dishonest. Thanks for listening. God bless.